Rotary printer can be a great way to print a bunch of small crafts in the early stage of survival game. Here's how to build it. If you want to get to detailed info, skip to 033. Make sure to provide stable surface. The printer produces a lot of torque and thus static grid is recommended. Place the power source. I used a battery. Then conveyor junction. Advanced router and conveyor junction for the components flow. Projection piston. It will hold our projector. Rename to piston projection. Groups will make automation easier. Place another rotor, remove its head and add a small one. Lock rotors and increase their braking torque. Set velocity of both rotors to 1.5 RPM and reverse it in one of the rotors. Let's also group those rotors. Place a projector. And merge block. Toggle it off. Build arm pistons. Marking top and bottom will make it easier to automate those pistons. They'll be group in piston arms group. You can also increase their speed to make printing more accurate. Speeds between 3 and 5 meters seconds will be fine for the purpose. Let's continue with the arms. They need to be longer. Add another piston, rename it to piston extension top and bottom and group. The speed of those pistons needs to be adjusted. The optimal speed for printing will be 0.1. Arms need to be slightly longer to reach the projector. Place welders and group them. Make sure they are off. You can mark help others. Place sensors. Top of the sensor should point the same way as the welder it is attached to. You can tell where is the top by looking at the little arrow direction on the sensor. Change sensor names to top and bottom accordingly and group them.
All extents should be set to 2 meters except the top one. The top extent should have 4.2 meter range on both sensors. Sensors should only detect subgrids. Sensor actions. Upon detection, top sensor should extend piston top arm. And retract it when nothing is detected. Base configuration is ready. It's time for automation part. Build 3 timer blocks and event controller. Rename the first timer to start stop. Its actions will be piston arms retract. Toggle merge block, welders, and sensors on off. Lock rotors on off. Piston projection extend. Switch to second page of the same timer and add. Timer block 2 on off and timer block 2 trigger now. Timer block 3 on off and timer block 3 start. Now in timer block 2, piston arms extend, piston projection extend, piston extension retract, Toggle timer block 3 off, reduce delay to 3 seconds, and set following actions for it. Piston projection retract. Piston extension extend. In the event controller, look for piston position percentage. and set equal or less than 55. Add piston projection to the selected blocks. And set up action. Timer block start stop. Trigger now. Automation part is ready. I forgot about setting the position and speed of the projection piston. I'll set it now. And toggle off sensors. Set the speed of the piston to 0.1. Add a seat and drag timer block start stop on the toolbar with a trigger now action.
Upload a blueprint to the projector. To make the printer more stable, enable Share Inertia Tensor. The printer is set. The blueprint is in the description of this video. Thank you for watching.